Hey guys, I've been keeping a secret from you. It's a big, dark secret that was bound to get out sooner or later, so I figured you should hear it from me first. Uh, this is a big deal, it's something that I felt the need to get off my chest, and uh, I wanted you guys to hear it from me first. I, uh, I bought a new, well, <laughs> I guess that guy's going to tell you. I guess Party Dave is, is, is going to deliver the news yeah! today. As you can see, over. I bought a new truck. Hey, tell them Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1988 Ford CL9000 cab over semi truck. Yeah! Ford didn't make trucks for very long, but when they did, they did a damn good yeah! job. Guys, this truck has got me so freaking excited. You see, I bought it from uh, some Polish brothers out of Chicago, K2 Express. They built these trucks. You blew when it. I say these trucks, oh. I bought two, which I'm not gonna show you the second hey, one yet, Dave, but the they built this truck as a show truck. It is dialed. Uh, Tom, Mike, Greg, these guys uh, at K2 Express did a wonderful job on these trucks. And now yeah, they brought them to us to let us do what we do best, put them to work, and we're gonna do a little bit of a build on it. As you can see, this truck is pretty much perfect as is, but we're gonna take it just a little bit further and make it match our Kenworth T800. Guys, this is awesome. And today, before we even do any work to the truck, we're gonna put it straight to work. We have got one hell of a video for you today where we're gonna do some super trucking. We're gonna convoy. You're gonna see one of your favorite people on the channel, Mr. Jax Allen here in just a little bit when we meet up with him. And we're gonna do something very special for a rancher up in Montana who's fallen on hard times. You see, this year's hay crop, pretty much worldwide, was absolute hay prices are through the roof. And we caught wind of a rancher up in Montana who basically only got 10% of his hay that he was supposed to get, and he has no other options. Basically going into winter, he has no way to feed his cows. And I found out that this rancher and his wife have been going into town working, you know, basically part-time jobs, trying to figure out how to buy enough hay to keep their cows alive through the winter. This rancher, on top of all the hard ranch work that he's been doing, on top of how difficult ranching really is, He's at the local elementary school serving lunch, trying to make a couple extra bucks to try to make ends meet to be able to buy the hay that he needs. So when Jax told me about this, I said, Jax, let's just go get that man some hay. So we've got him four semi loads of hay that we're gonna go surprise him with. And he has no idea that we're just gonna bring it to him and drop it off. He thinks that Jax is just bringing him one load. Uh, he put some money down on some hay in South Dakota that Jax is picking up right now. And uh, he thinks Jax is just gonna bring that to him. Little does he know that we're up here in Aberdeen, Idaho, loading the Kenworth and the new cab over full of hay. We're going to show up to his house either late tonight or tomorrow morning and we're going to surprise this man because no rancher should have to go serve lunch at a local school to try to feed his cows. So today is a very special video debuting the new truck and doing something very special for someone very special. So buckle up guys because this could be a good one. Couple of borrowed trailers that haven't been used in years, so let's see how this runs. Guys, real quick, I need to stop this video, which by the way is one of the best videos we've ever produced and you'll see why as you finish it. But I need to talk to you about one of our sponsors. A little while back, Hone Health reached out to the channel and said, hey, we want you to help us market testosterone replacement therapy. And when I heard this, I was like, I'm in. Because personally, I'm a guy who experienced low testosterone. When I hit age 30, I realized I didn't feel the same as I used to. I didn't feel right. I went and got my blood work done. Sure enough, my testosterone levels were low. This means my energy was low, my mood was bad, my sex drive was low, appetite, sleep, everything was affected. And as soon as I got on the therapy, everything changed. My whole life changed and yours can too. So if you've been feeling lethargic, slow, unhappy, moody, can't sleep, sex drives low, there's a really good chance that you're one of the 30 million men in America that has low testosterone. That's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to all of us. Listen, Hone Health has made this really easy. You don't have to go to the doctor's office. You don't have to have any awkward visits. You literally order their at-home test kit, which is in the link in the description below. You get it, open it up, prick your finger, send the blood work in, and then they'll get a doctor to reach out to you and go over your results and say, here's where you're low, here's where you're high, here's what we gotta fix. And then from there, the best part is they create this treatment plan. This is not a gas station testosterone booster pill. This is actual FDA approved medication to increase your testosterone levels to make your life better. So men, 
obviously this is a no-brainer. You should probably jump in on this. Ladies, if you have a man in your life and you notice that he might be a little bit off or he's reaching close to that age where testosterone might start dipping, you should probably look into this and it'd be a great Christmas present. $45 is it, guys, that's it to get the at-home test kit and the doctor's consultation. For $45, you're going to be able to figure out what the hell's going on. Are you high? Are you low? Are you good? Are you bad? I promise you guys, it'll be the best money you ever spent. So make it happen. And thank you, Hone, for sponsoring the channel. But more importantly, thank you for helping us all feel better. Click the link in my description below and get feeling better now. All right, guys, I'd like you to meet our new friend, TJ Phillips. So I wanna to explain to you what happened here. You guys may have seen a couple days ago, I put up a post looking for some hay when we found out that this rancher was in need. And uh, we found hay all over the place. The thing about hay right now is it's super expensive, right? Right. It's crazy pricey. So TJ reached out and he's like, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I got you covered. And so we got a hold of him and long story short, TJ figured out a way to get an entire load of hay donated, basically uh, through a local farmer, or rancher, hey, Steve Worthing. Don't forget about the burrito. Yeah, and, and TJ <laughs> showed up not only with a free load of hay, but also with a free load of breakfast burritos. A bag of them. This, and the sickest cab over we've ever warm. seen. That's uh, El, El Holiense. From That's Aberdeen, a delicious Idaho, burrito special, right there. Breakfast burrito. This is Idaho for you guys. Idaho people are just, they're the real deal. So basically TJ figured out a way to get us a load of hay donated. He also found us another load of hay at a really great price. So we're gonna load both of our trucks. Um, uh, TJ's family actually uh, donated some of the hay to make a complete load here. Man, this doesn't, like this isn't a common, this isn't something that people do. Right. Why are you guys right. doing this? You know, I've always had a soft heart for uh, helping people, but right. at first when I seen the post, I was like, oh, they're probably, they probably bought some cows or something. Right. They need some hay, I'll to help them find some hay. And then when Hans told me the story, I was like, well, you should have told me that in the, in the beginning. <laughs> But and yeah. real quick, the, the reason why we post this kind of stuff is not to, to flaunt and show, it's because stuff like this happens. As soon as we reach out to somebody to help, it starts this ripple effect of all these people that want to help, which is obviously the reason why TJ's here. And uh, man, I just, all I can do is say thank you. This yeah. is it's huge and yeah. this is gonna go, I mean, the rancher, uh, we found out he's literally been working a side job at the elementary school serving lunch, trying to find enough money to buy hay, so. Montana, you know, you, you go into winter without hay, it's do or die, right, like, you right. know, there's no, there's no backup plan for these guys. Right. So you're doing a very good thing here, and man, we just really appreciate it. Yeah, anything, anything to help out, and, and, and you brought warm breakfast burritos, man. Well, I hope they're warm. It's, yeah. Dude, it's literally still warm in my hand. Oh, I mean, man. this That's is well, this is unreal. It's a cab over. We're sitting on the engine. I mean, <laughs> should be able to stay warm. Got a microwave right next to you. So, guys, the plan here is we're gonna we're gonna take some bites of our breakfast burritos, and then we're gonna head over uh, just down the road here mm -hmm. and get the other load of hay that we're buying, and then we're gonna transfer this load onto the trucks and. Uh, start heading northbound so uh do you have a like an instagram page or facebook or anything uh yeah i got an instagram it's just tj phillips 379 right, well we're gonna put that right there you guys give this man some love <laughs> all right we're gonna eat some burritos and uh, load some hay well pulling on the scales this location because we gotta get our lightweight before we load up so Get our light, because we're buying everything by the ton, right? So you gotta get a lightweight of your truck and trailer without the bales. Once the bales are loaded, we come back, get a loaded weight. 41040. stuff at one this was 190 190 yeah. ton or bale ton. Ton. the guy's just looking to feed his cows so right and this should work cows lead it yeah. Yeah. hey get it <laughs> there gonna be a lot of those jokes in this vlog we're at the hay yard and it, we might as well be at a gold mine right now guys it is insane right now you see what happened uh most of you already know this but there's a combination of massive heat waves this summer huge drought all across the west and the crops just didn't yield what they normally do. I think up in Montana, uh, and the reason why we're taking hay up there is because they had like this plague, like literally a biblical plague of grasshoppers just came through and just destroyed the hay. On top of that, they had fires, they had drought, they had just every 
condition that destroys hay possible went through Montana this summer. So a lot of ranchers up there are hurting. Uh, we're in Idaho where obviously it wasn't as bad. It was still pretty brutal, but I mean, these stacks of hay, <laughs> hay is like, the price is like triple of what it should normally be. And what's crazy is a lot of the hay that gets produced here in the West gets shipped to the ports and straight over to China to feed Chinese cows. So believe it or not, a lot of the beef that you eat comes from China, which uh, I don't love that idea, but I guess it's world track. It comes from like Brazil, China, it comes from all over the place, but I like my beef from the United States. This hand just, the yeah, the hand in the back's mainly the support. I'd like to give one hell of a massage too. <laughs> Look at that, that's just <laughs> nice. I'm about to follow the old master hay loader and probably make a fool of myself because I've A, never driven a machine like this. B, haven't loaded hay like this in ever for a long time, so. For him not loading a hay truck ever from what they tell me, that's a that's a pretty good looking load. Um, not as good as mine, but that's a that's a good looking load. Well, obviously. It's alright. Yeah. I mean they'll stay on, we hope. Oh they'll, yeah, they'll definitely stay on. Drive my OCD crazy though with this one's turned on the side. I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn it. If he can flip them without them keep rolling, that's pretty good. All right, pull it. Which one? Fling it. What is Hans doing out there? He's... All right, uh, second one can be pulled tight. Got him on crisscrossed. I think I'm yelling to nobody over there, man. He's not even answering me. I just. He got his AirPods in. So do I. But I can hear him. Turn your music down. <laughs> Are we crossed up top? That's front right there. Oh, got hay fever. Say it? <laughs> I'm saving it. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're loaded. Kitchen, man. I've been waiting a long time to come here. This is Hans' mom's spot. This is their family restaurant. And uh, been talking about it forever. You guys know Hans, right? He's the uh, no-name boy from the vlog. And uh, his mom, Kitty, obviously has this nice little restaurant here where they do like custom sodas and custom meals. And now I see a bag of custom cookies. So I am happy. You see, food on the road sucks. I hate eating food like fast food and stuff so the fact that we happen to be coming through here perfectly yeah. i couldn't be happier i've been trying to get an invite here for years yep I've told hands several it's times exclusive. yeah i see that Jeez, mom you didn't have to make enough for like a, a village we're just six of us thank you Jeez, mom got my shirt oh, hands man. read the sign no drama <laughs> what is don't put mushrooms in my food then <laughs> so weird put sriracha on their spaghetti. I definitely lived up to every high hope I ever had. Homemade food is just so much better than bullshit gas station food. What are you doing? Oh. These are the freaking... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we were moving down the road just fine, and then all of a sudden you see a lifted bus. No, I've been looking for these tires. These are the tires I told you to order for the hat. But these are like a newer, modern style. I can't believe these even exist. 
345. No, 800. 800? It's an 845 R26.5. That is the sweetest tire. This is what I want to put on the head. We were full speed down the road and you came to a screeching halt. I can't believe I just found these. Look how wide Look those how are. Wide those are, dude. Picture those on the head. Put your head down there. <laughs> That's wider than that I thought. If I know a bad boy tire when I see one. <laughs> is that a bad boy tire? This is a bad boy tire. This is it. Make them an offer. That thing is sweet. Oh, no, no. With a regular Ford axle. Yeah. <laughs> With a Fabtech lift. Is that a Fabtech lift? I don't even know if it has it. Does it have a lift? Oh, it's no lift. It's cut out. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Look who we found. <laughs> Mr. Jax Allen. Are you, I know you guys all have been wanting a lot more Jax. Dude, he did it. I didn't, he, he said he had a surprise, and I didn't know, and he did it. Now, now I fit in. Now, <laughs> now I feel like a part of the family. We're going to tear up the entire nation. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. What's the other one? It's, a, other... Uh, it's a 660 Kenworth. Oh, yeah. nice. Kind of the aerodynamic. Pull over there and pull up a little bit further, give them a little more room. Okay. <laughs> we left at 8 o'clock this morning and it is 11 o'clock tonight. So, long time. I guess for about two hours, about 12 hours probably, to do an eight hour drive. We are in Lewiston, Montana. And we are going to bed. We got the bunkhouse for the boys here at Rooster's Coop, Jackson's Ranch. Get our gear, let's get to bed. the wind you're mentally unstable that's my theory and if you like the cold the same goes to you. you're mentally unstable that's why I'm wrapped up in this freaking bison fur Dave Sparks last night he then like came out he's like don't worry man I got you a PBJ sandwich super pumped thinking it was gonna be an uncrustable it was this this thing I wouldn't even have called it a PBJ it was so bad I like took one bite out of each side and I was like, okay, out the window that goes. Okay, out the window that goes. He got a tuna sandwich from the gas station. You don't get a tuna sandwich at a gas station. I'm sorry, you just don't. If I was on Expedia or any of those places, I'd give this place a five star. Um, really enjoyed the, uh, the the vibe, you know, the the rustic slash. It almost it almost had a modern like feel to it as well, which is. Um, you know, something that's very, very uncommon in a state like this. Uh, also, the bison blanket, great touch, love that. The rocking chair, uh, could do with or without. Alright, so just had probably one of the best nights of sleep of my life here at Jack's Family Ranch up in Lewiston, Montana. This place is incredible. You know, Jack's been telling me about this for a long time and uh, we finally got an opportunity to come up here. Montana is God's country, that's all I can say. This place is absolutely incredible. Uh, we, the wind did follow us in last night. It was pushing us around all night ever since we left uh, Idaho Falls and it's here this morning which is going to make the audio a little bit tricky i'm wearing a lab microphone so hopefully the audio is not too bad for you guys but uh yeah we all uh slept uh, jack's wife and family uh, haley woke up made us some wonderful ranch breakfast and now we're all geared up headed out to deliver the hay bigger question do you purposely buy this last i bought a book at the gas station last night because i am very curious about who pooped in the park and i've not got down to the bottom of it yet it a joke, but nope you bought it. i bought it I'll let you guys know when I find out who pooped in the park. I got a book. I got a book last night. Did you get that? I got the book. Yeah. Oh yeah, I read that when I was a little kid. Everybody wants to know who pooped in the park. So from here, we're headed over to the Mosby's place, which is about 20 minutes from here. So we're gonna do some trucking through the Montana hills. Yep. We got a little, uh, little overland. Might be a little further in the wind, a little longer. Yeah. But, uh, it's not the dark of the moon on the 6th of June, though. 
in the Kenworth Hall oh, Hogs. <laughs> we got ourselves a convoy though. Woo, we got baby. we got three cabbies. No, yeah, three yeah. cab overs yeah. and two Kenworths. Yeah, it's going to be a convoy. Yeah, we're going to bring the tractor up so we can get unloaded a little quicker. And uh, I'm just stoked you guys are here. I, can't I let know, you man. Up, I man. love it. We're here. Amazing. Channel's stoked that you're here. By the yeah. way, guys, Jax has been creating some top-notch content lately, and. Little Birdie told me this morning that he might be doing uh, a truck build over the winter on his channel. So if you guys like builds, I know you already like Jack. So take Jack, mix it with the build, mix it with a little bit of Montana. You got yourself some apple butter there. And you'll find out who pooped in the woods at the end of it all. At the end of it all. That's like <laughs> next spring for the season finale. So yeah. anyways, by the Thank with you. that said, link to Jack's channel is below. I know you guys love him. Go give him some love. Make that channel grow. And uh, we'll keep doing more together, right? Heck yeah. Yep. I just want to I just want to move up here now. That's well, my now next... you know you've got a bed that you Oh like. man, that was the best bed I've ever slept on. All right, well, we're gonna get on the road here and uh, go deliver some hay. Rancher's place. Uh, there's what four, five semis. The entire family was sitting out waiting for us, so that was cool. They're super uh, stoked. Super happy. It's crazy how happy they are, knowing like, oh, we're happy, even though we're paying for it. We're still really happy that they're doing this. It'll be like a million times happier when they realize that they didn't have to pay for it even. All right, so a little update for you. We just rolled up to the uh, ranch where we're gonna drop it off the hay, and uh, man, it is windy out here today. It's just, uh, it's like 38 degrees, blowing probably 50, 60 miles an hour, if not more. Uh, we got all four trucks just rolled in here. That's uh, the rancher right there with his tractor getting ready to unload. And uh, as you can see, it's just super dry. Obviously, we're in the dry season here in November, but this is not Montana normally. This is, it, uh, it looks a little bit more, uh, looks a little bit more alive than this, and just, just from the drought this summer. So as you can see up here, that's their current hay uh, supply. Uh, they're down to like just a few round bales left. So this 100 tons I think is going to be a long ways here. So definitely excited to get these guys unloaded and uh, stack some hay. And They still don't know that uh, we're giving them this hay. And uh, also going to pay them back for the hay that uh, Jackson picked up in South Dakota. So I want to keep as much money in these guys' pockets as possible just because they've had a rough year. And, uh, out where we can so we're gonna get unloaded and uh then we'll let them know that the hay's free so i'm excited to meet the family here and get unloaded dude this wind it's not supposed to be like this but it is I am the fastest strap roller in the United States. I'm gonna show you. First things first, you gotta get you a good long strap. Ah! Start over. From the top, from the top. That burns more than you would think for a fat old trucker. 
Got hay in my eyes. My gloves are like two sizes too big. Didn't bring a warm jacket. Where's the nearest red lobster? Red lobster? <laughs> I'm like, it's always so weird how like, when we're out here working, Sparks is always somehow in a machine. And he's never out here, like doing the labor side of it. Now, include all the footage of Dave Sparks in a machine while everyone else is outside the machine. Insert footage now. Five minutes later. Everyone's out working. Oh, uh, so I'm on a call. I, yeah, sell everything, all the stocks, yep. I wasn't like I wasn't cold out there so what I was doing is I just needed to take care of some business on my phone uh, it had nothing to do with the temperature and the wind it was all strictly business calls So we got the hay all loaded. The weather's awful. We're gonna head over to the house real quick and uh, square up with them. Hans, how was your work experience? Uh, I did a lot. Of, I got a lot of work done. It's chilly. Fields average 300, probably. Yeah. I did 500 on them one year. How many tons does it usually take you to get through the winter? Well, it won't take as many ton this year because we sold half the herd. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we called really hard. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's like, what do you do? You can't, yeah. And this with this, and if we get those other two out of South Dakota, we'll maybe have a little carryover. Quick buy -in. Yeah. Yeah. Been a brutal year, huh? Oh, miserable. Yeah. But I don't go to Vegas because I gamble doing this. <laughs> it seems like every rancher does the same, right? It is. Yeah. It's, it's a gamble. You do it. Well, but speaking we of gambling, it. I figured, you know, every once in a while gambling ought to pay off. So this right here is going to cover the cost of the hay from South Dakota and all the other stuff was donated. So we got you covered. You got other things to worry about. You don't got to worry about buying hay right now. Oh, I didn't need. We, we had it covered. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just wanted to help. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we're very happy. There's a uh, farmer down in Idaho. What was his name? Steve Borland or something yeah. like that. He donated the four by four bales, and then we bought the rest from uh, a guy down there in Idaho, and wanted to help out where we could. Don't worry about it. Look at everything. Good guys, man. Cry. Pretty cool. Every, every, every once in a while, that doesn't needs happen a break. very often, <laughs> does it? No. Yeah. <laughs> ranchers don't catch breaks very often either, though. So. No, no, we don't. But... Yeah. I'm just glad I didn't have to drive to South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I was going to South Dakota. We were lucky to find it all the way up, so it worked out better that way. All right, well, we're going to get you here, get on the road. Yep. Well, I wish we'd have had some dinner or That's something for you. I sure appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.